to Anchors Away, the podcast that chronicles a landlocked new sailor's journey to finding freedom and adventure at sea. I'm your host, Todd Middlebrooks, and I welcome you along on my journey. In this episode, we're going to talk about the Moorings Yacht Ownership Program and why we chose it for our first method of boat ownership. That's right. As you may remember in the previous episode, kind of a welcome back episode, I hinted that we have purchased, well, not hinted, I actually announced that we have purchased a boat with the moorings. And I wanted to kind of, in this episode, give an overview of what that program is about, uh, why we chose that, and kind of what our buying process has looked like thus far because we haven't actually closed or taken ownership of the boat as of yet. So the Moorings is a charter company that owns bases uh, worldwide. And what they do is they have their owners provide them boats to put in their charter charter program. And in return, they get some benefits. Uh, so they offer three types of uh, vessels in their program. They have mono, sailing monohulls. They have sailing catamarans, and they have power catamarans. And when they have a base that needs a new vessel and a vessel becomes available, then it goes um, up for sale in their charter program. And that's kind of what happened last year. Uh, as my, one of my partners on the boat, he went to the Annapolis Boat Show and was talking to the moorings, and they had a moorings uh, Leopard 50, of a, cat, a sailing catamaran available or coming available. And so we put down a deposit uh, on that boat at the show and secured that vessel as we began to go through the negotiations of contract paperwork. So our boat will be based in Tortola in the British Virgin Islands. But as you'll see as a part of the program, we have access to uh, boats uh, in their 20 bases across the world that we can charter and sail. As a part of the moorings program, again, we actually own the boat. It goes into their charter program, and they handle all of the maintenance, insurance, dockage uh, costs that are associated with boat ownership on our behalf. And they provide us with a guaranteed monthly revenue because we have put our boat in their charter program. And again, we have access to their bases worldwide. So this is kind of what the program looks like at a glance, and they call it worry-free yacht ownership. And that's really why we chose uh, this method of boat ownership as our, as our first boat purchase. Um, we wanted something in, in this stage of life. Uh, we have, my wife and I have, our youngest is still in high school, and we, didn't, we don't have access to break away long-term uh, to get on a boat right now. And so we wanted the ability to access a boat and have uh, flexibility to go on these trips regularly uh, without the maintenance and the, and the associated cost of 100% boat ownership. Um, so at a glance, so we, we purchased the yacht uh, again last uh, Annapolis boat show we put down to the deposit and our boat is supposed to be in in August of 2023, supposed to close at the end of August. Um, so we're excited about that. Uh, but basically, you purchase the yacht, and their prices include all the yacht's equipment. So the yacht comes delivered and ready to sail uh, once it arrives at your your selected base, or not your selected base, or your um, the base to which the the yacht was kind of assigned. Uh, it's around a five year program. Um, contracts are around five or six sailing seasons, depending on the uh, location that your yacht is located. For putting your boat in the program, you and your immediate family have access to 12 weeks of sailing each year. Um, it's a kind of a points-based system, so how much sailing you actually get is based on the season that you want to sail in and then the type of vessel that you want to sail. They provide yacht management, professional management of the yacht all year round. Uh, they handle all the, the, the bookings, the maintenance. Um, they report all that to the owner. There are zero operating costs associated with the program. Again, while your boat is in the program under contract, they pay the annual berthing costs for the dockage, the insurance, and the maintenance, and all of that. Uh, they have a pretty extensive maintenance program whereby 
there are certain things that they do when the boat comes back off of each charter. There are certain other things that they do annually, and then there are maintenance items that are handled at the end of the contract before uh, the kind of contract exit options, which those are you can choose to remove the vessel from the program, and then you'll you, you it'll be your private vessel at that point. Uh, you can broker the yacht for sale through the moorings, where they act as the broker and they will sell the yacht on your behalf. Or you could trade your vessel in on a new contract and get a new vessel for um, a brand new contract with the moorings if you choose to continue that relationship. You also have access to sister ships. So um, again, you can use an equivalent sister ship with moorings or sun sail or choose to upgrade to a larger model depending on where you purchased in their program. So if we had purchased a boat outright, first of all, the cost would have been much greater. We would not have had any kind of a guaranteed income. Uh, we did go on on this boat with a couple of partners, which helps distribute the cost as well, uh, though we do have to split up our, our sailing time. But one of the greatest benefits of the Moorings program is that we have access to their network of bases and vessels. So not only do we have a boat that we can go sail in the BVI, we also have access to their other boats that we can go sail anywhere in the world. And their bases include areas like Belize and Tahiti and Croatia and Greece and the Seychelles and Australia and Thailand. So these are places we wouldn't be able to sail if we just had our single boat in a single location. So in our stage of life right now, we are just in chartering mode. So it's easier for us to break away for a week, maybe two, and go on a sailing trip than it would be to go and take our boat for a month sail through the Bahamas. Uh, maybe we'll get there one day, hopefully. But until we transition into that stage, then I think this type of ownership in a program like the Moorings makes perfect sense for us. Um, we are half owners of this boat, so we'll have six of the 12 weeks that Moorings offers. And for now, that should be plenty. And if we need more down the road, then we can, once we renew that contract, uh, have a go, you know, solo in on a contract and get the full 12 weeks. Or we may look at other ownership programs uh, in the future where there may or may not be guaranteed income, but the amount of time that you get to sail is up to you. Then it's your private boat and it's only chartered when you're not using it. So really that that relationship is to set up to offset the cost where moorings uh, is kind of once you put the boat in the program, their, their arrangement is designed to cover the cost uh, again, which is nice. So you have limited, you have a little more limited access to your boat, but you have guaranteed income, and you have access to all of their boats, which is really cool. So that's a little bit about the Moorings Yacht Ownership Program. Thank you for tuning into this episode of Anchors Away, and I look forward to welcoming you back on board for the next episode. Thanks for tuning into the show. Be sure to subscribe and have future episodes automatically docked into your favorite podcast player. Until then, Anchors Away. Thank you.